Hello and welcome back to the Life After Losses video blog. Yeah, last week things got real. We talked about doing it, uh, what, what it takes to get things done, a pivot in our actions to marry with our mindset. And today I want to share some thoughts about, well, sharing and connecting and what we learned in kindergarten is still important. So let's dive into this week's entry. It's number 174, Sharing is Caring. Now, I'll tell you right off the bat, my mind has been in all sorts of places this week as I kicked off the pre-launch activities for the new book, and I worked on expanding the reach of the other two books. I was so preoccupied that I didn't notice I didn't have anything to write about this week until Friday. Now, usually I like to write, let it marinate a few days in my mind and in its own juices, then edit and run it through a grammar checker. Now, the checker sometimes alters the meaning of what I'm trying to say, but ultimately I get to click whether to accept it or not. And you haven't noticed that inconsistency, have you? Anyway, back to the topic. As I mentioned, I was so busy sharing that this week's topic didn't even register until Friday. Sharing. As I let that sit on the old noodle, I thought, sharing is caring. Hey, that's where I settled. You see, this week started off by sharing with followers and subscribers access to the new book for free. All they need to do is promise to review it when it come out, comes out live. And as I was sharing that information, it shifted my focus to sharing our stories and how powerful they can be to other people. Not just the stories of our losses, but the stories of who we are and what we've been through to get to where we are now. You know, it's in sharing that we connect authentically with each other. Like when a reader told me, your words and insights have been great help to me since the loss of my husband. Thank you for doing what you do for so many. Sharing that with me makes me feel like I'm on the right path, and I told her that hearing this adds fuel to my fire to, and desire to help others. It's a reminder that our stories matter, and telling them can help someone else. You know what else matters? When I was growing up, I didn't see positive representation of gay people on screen or in the media. Nowadays, there's actually a, a push in media to be more inclusive and representative of what society looks like. You know, I'm not the handsome leading man, but a chubby old guy old enough to be a grandfather, and yet I'm getting parts because I look like America. We had a black woman playing a mermaid and people went nuts, but representation matters. Telling stories that relate to people and not demographics matters. My demographics don't matter as long as the story I share is the truth. And this is how we connect as human beings. This is how we look at each other and we say, we may, may not agree on everything, but I recognize your humanity. You know, who knows? Maybe from that point we can all actually sit around a table together. You know, I've been referred to as a toxic Pollyanna before. There's a link below. Now, back to the topic of sharing. Sorry, I'm rambling a little bit today. Another part of this week has been working on ways to engage my readers to share reviews of what they've read and how sharing a simple review on Amazon helps others decide if they want to buy a, a book. If you see something with two stars, you're probably not interested. And if it only has half a dozen reviews, well, will you click and spend your money? You know, the simple action of leaving a review or an impression of something that struck you good or bad it's helpful not only to the author, moi, because if I hear nothing back, I assume that you're all loving what I do, but also to those people who, like us, are seeking answers or inspiration. If I'm seeking a solution, I want to see that it's worked for others, and I assume you're similar. So aside from sharing reviews, uh, sharing your story is important. On a few of the social media ads I run, I've been privileged to read many, many uh, stories and, and others' responses in kind. You know, you can join the Facebook page and share your story. Inspire others. And on the flip side, be inspired or ask for help. That's another entry altogether. I think maybe that's next week's. Yeah, and it's, it's cathartic. You may find the right words to help a stranger. Kind of like how you found me. Sharing stories, kindness, even a smile. They make the world of difference to others. So are you ready to make a difference? Share your review. And join a Facebook group, community, and continue the conversation. You know, your story has power. Please share it today. 